Yep, we're back. Another tip of the day. So if you're buying a boat and the question is, do you want to get a hull survey and then pay extra for an engine survey? My advice is yes, pay extra for the engine survey. So the engine surveyor can check out the health of the engine, both the propulsion engine and also the generator engine. My purpose today is to talk about heat exchangers. So you can see the honeycomb inside of that heat exchanger and then the water goes through this larger hole and then the oil goes through this smaller hole. So this is actually an oil cooler on a very large diesel engine. The other thing about diesel engines is we have turbochargers. And the turbocharger will actually compress hot air and go into the engine but instead of putting hot air into the engine, it will first go through a cooler, a heat exchanger similar to this, and then it will cool the air so you've got cool air going into the cylinders in the combustion chamber. The problem is if you're buying the boat and you do not have service records, when the heat exchangers have been removed, tested, certified, and reinstalled, if this heat exchanger fails and it allows water to go into the combustion chamber, when that piston comes up, it might jam, and that's called hydro lock. So look at this piston, and you can see that the connecting rod right here is bent. That's because when the piston went up, hit the water, water's not compressible, it blew. So if this is the skirt or the cylinder liner right here, or the sleeve if you want to use that word. You can also see the piston rings here. This is totally destroyed, and that's what I've got in my hand. The engine block blew a hole out the side of the engine block, so the engine in all, let's just say it was totaled. So you want to spend the time, spend the money, get your turbo air after cooler removed, checked at a marine radiator shop, boiled, cleaned, pressure tested, and then reinstalled aboard the boat. Or you're going to have a career-ending failure like this. This is a piston that hydro-locked, water-locked, because there's water on top of the piston when it came up, and you can see the mess right here. So this engine was totally destroyed. If you've got questions about surveys, I'll be glad to review the survey for you and help you read between the lines. Or you can just come down to Florida and take our Introduction to Boat Systems class and learn more about this in person. If you've got questions, ask Captain Chris.